Hey Gearheads, Jeff with Gear Report. Still here at the Denton Military Vehicle and Gun Show 2019. This is, a, it's kind of a regional military vehicle show. Why I'm standing here with a Humvee trailer behind me and a guy back here. Let me flip the camera around and introduce you to Ben again. Ben has already done, oh, before we go there. Ben, we did a few videos about his Humvee here. So if you like the Pacifica seats or the sun visors, go find those videos. And uh, you know what, we're gonna pause for a second. We got helicopters flying over. We're gonna let them get by. Uh, say hi, Ben. Hi guys. Um, we got the M1102 trailer here, it's the Humvee trailer. Um, got lucky, found a tan one that matched the Humvee so I didn't have to do any paint jobs or anything like that. Um, what I got really lucky on is this rack that came in the back of it. Um, you can see the substructure here. It runs the whole length of the trailer. Um, no clue what it was for. I don't know if they parked it side by side or something or what, what it was the purpose the military had for it, but it's worked great for setting up a camping trailer and putting a bed on it. I think that by itself is kind of interesting. Is that board something we can just lift up and see what it looks like real quick? <laughs> I think the uh, other end's under. Okay, I maybe. Might be able to slide it let out me try end. to come up under here so you can see the slats. So really interesting. I've never seen another one of these, and you know I haven't seen everything, but uh, but that's a new one for me. So yeah. Um, so I'll come here and show you. So right now I've got it set up in the one man scenario, so I can easily walk around up here and get the stuff. And I've got a shelf, coffee table, whatever you want to call it. Um, but if you notice over here, I've got another twin mattress. Um, so I had my dad up here with me last night. So I pulled this one out, slid this mattress I'm sitting on all the way over, and I just flip this over, drop the leg down, and I've got another spot for the other mattress. Right. Um, you've got about four or five inches between the two mattresses in the trailer. So you're not up against each other. You've got plenty of room for two people to camp comfortably. Um, I've also got a horse stall mat from Harbor Freight. Um, protect your toes a little bit, but more importantly, if you get up in the night and you don't have socks on, that cold aluminum, it'll get you every time. Uh, I had an old piece of carpet through it in here as well for a little more comfort, but uh, it's worked great. I usually hang a lantern from the ceiling um, yep. at night to get a little light. But so far, so good. This is the first trip in it, maiden voyage. It's, uh, it worked like a champ. Plenty awesome. of room for cargo underneath. I've got a um, oh yeah, I, I like that. Um, I guess you'd call it a tailgating tent, like the square pop-ups. Uh huh. Completely under here. I've got a five-gallon oh, wow. water jug under here. Um, some chairs, a little bit of everything. Um, it's it's worked out great. Um, Excellent. And if you got bigger stuff, you can put it on here and uh, strap it to the thing, uh, the bows, and they'll they'll ride up here in that awesome yeah you can see a lot of a lot of storage room up under there oh, here we go yeah so we need to look Snug at what this look like well we, we got to see it from under we don't need to tear it apart too bad yeah. you can see this is the edge of the frame here yeah um, so it's about huh. this wide and then it's got slats to go across it uh-huh um, yeah yeah so it neat it, it made life a lot easier for me for putting together a camping trailer. Right. Um, someone else might have to do a little more bracing underneath. Um, but. Yeah. Well, it's kind of what we talked about with the Pacifica seats in the Humvee. You, you're potentially cutting someone's time down to do this because they don't have to reinvent everything. You know, even if they don't have this rack, which, you know, I've, I've not seen one of these with the cross member and then the two kind of ladder type supports, um, you know, you've shown them a way that they can, you know, create this and then do the same thing. So, yeah, and you can yeah see how that's, it uses that's pretty cool. The tie down eyes. Oh yeah, so, that is a really neat looking. Uh, so if you are building something, there. don't forget those are there. You can use that to anchor something down if you've got a, a cot or something else that you want to throw back here. Yeah, um, those are good anchor points for not just tying down cargo, but also a bed frame in this case. Right. Very cool. And I picked up this ladder um, yesterday, actually, at the rally um, here on the trailer to get in and out, and it's worked. It's the, actually, it's it's the perfect height for getting in and out. Um, 
So that's one of the great things about the rally. There's all kinds of stuff here that you can find um, to accessorize your uh, equipment and vehicles and trailers with. Yeah, absolutely. I ended up uh, buying a few things. No, excuse me. All right, let me rephrase that in case Mrs. Gear Report's watching. I sold some things that got money that I could use to buy things. All right, but um, yeah, so let's get a look at this ladder. Here we go. And uh, it, let me back up a little. I didn't want to back up while you were talking because we may have lost you audio wise, but uh, yeah, that is exactly the perfect height and angle and everything. Cool. All right. Well, Ben, we really appreciate you sharing a, a couple things with us Absolutely. today. Yeah, um, re really enjoy seeing uh, how people make their uh, military surplus buys a little bit more uh, to, to suit their intent and style. And and personally, you know, I don't really care if if someone buys a Humvee and a, or a tr and a trailer and makes it look different not only my thing i kind of like the military look so i kind of like that you've done some upgrades but it still kind of looks like yeah. the way it was in the military so to each his own i'm not not judging anyone um as far as you know but uh you know i i like what you've done here good job so with that i am gonna go wander around the show so i will probably post several other videos i think the next one i'm gonna do by the way i'm gonna walk up the hill up there there are a couple of super cool M37 trucks. Let me see, right up in here somewhere that I'm gonna go up and talk to Richard. We're gonna get a tour of those trucks. So if you like that kind of thing, stick around, go find the video for that. And uh, regardless, we'll see you at the range.